Hey guys, how you doing? I'm Matt Gear, and this is Matt Gear TV. Today I've got part six, part six of uh, my series of lessons on the diatonic scale. Now, position six is something that you may be slightly familiar with already, uh, because what it is, it's the Aeolian mode, which is also known as natural minor. What this is also known as is the relative minor because as a minor scale, it has the same key signature as the major scale to which it's related. So we're playing in G major. This is E minor. And it's got the same key signature, same number of sharps and flats. If that theory goes above your head, it doesn't really matter because as, as rock guitarist, pop, folk, metal, whatever it is that you play, actually probably you're not going to be re you know, you're not going to be reading music so it's not that important now the sound of this might be familiar to you because unlike some of the more exotic modes and the exotic sounding modes things like phrygian maybe dorian maybe you're not familiar with the sound of that you're probably familiar with a minor scale so if this is the major scale <laughs> That's quite a familiar sound to most people. The minor scale is also fairly familiar. Um, it's not anything, yeah, it's, if you've listened to any music that's got a minor sound to it, it's probably based on that. Possibly Dorian, usually this though. It's the natural minor. It's a very, very commonly used scale and mode. So let's have a look at this close up. As I said before, we're working from a root of G, so everything is related to G. This whole thing, when we stick all these seven shapes together, is basically going to be the G family of diatonic, G diatonic scale. But now what we're looking at is the E Aeolian mode. So let's have a listen to this first of all, so you can familiarise yourself with the way the mode sounds. So obviously we can hear it's got a minor tonality to start off with because it's got that minor third in. Let's have a look at that close up and see how it's put together. So as before we're playing everything in the relative key of G major. So I'm starting now on the 12th fret of the low E string on the E. And to start off with, I'm playing a whole step, half step shape. Then the same again on the A string, starting on the 12th fret, whole step, half step. Then on the D string, starting on the 12th fret, whole step, whole step. Then onto the G string, again on the 12th fret, whole step, whole step. Then onto the B string, this time starting on the 13th fret, whole step, whole step again. Then onto the high E string, finally starting on the 14th fret with a half step, whole step shape. If I come back down again. So I'm going to play that really slowly again all the way through so you can see what's going on. Starting on the 12th fret of the low E string. Whole step, half step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step. Whole step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step. So that's the Aeolian mode. If you guys have got any questions about this, just leave them below in the comments section. Next time will be the final shape, shape seven uh, of the diatonic scale. And once we've covered that, we'll then start looking at how we can stick all of these seven shapes together to form one monster diatonic scale across the whole neck, which you'll then be able to use to play any mode, any position, any key. So until then, you guys take it easy. I've been Matt Gear, and this has been Matt Gear TV. Cheers. Mm -hmm.